This week, the most active meteor shower of the year is peaking. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby spoke with a Tennessee astronomer. He joins us with more now on the Perseid meteor shower. Alex. Yeah, thanks, Bob. According to William Teets, the director of Vanderbilt's Dyer Observatory, the Perseid meteor shower peaks the nights of August 12th and the 13th. He says the brightest meteor shower of the year got its name from the Perseus constellation because that's where the shooting stars appear to be coming from. He says the meteors are small bits of rock and dust left over from Comet Swift Tuttle. And he says normally you'll be able to see about one meteor every minute, but with this year's nearly full moon, you'll only be able to see the brightest ones. You know, even at Dyer here, we've caught a few of the, uh, the meteors on our all sky camera and, you know, we're in Brentwood, Tennessee. So I would just say, you know, as long as you're not like in the middle of downtown Nashville, just, you know, try to get away as, as far as you can. But, um, you know, you don't have to, to drive for hours to, to get away from the city. And because of that nearly full moon, you'll probably see about 30 to 40 meteors every hour. So about one every two minutes. And of course, get away from the brightest city lights to see the best and the most meteors. Look to the northern sky. That's where that Perseus constellation is located right now this time of year. And the best viewing is from midnight to about dawn. So if you're a really, really early riser, you actually get a pretty good shot at these. Now, if it's cloudy, you won't. Tonight doesn't look great. That's also not peaking tonight. But Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, it does look a little bit better with mostly clear skies. Bob?